What up, what up, what up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Madden 25 franchise game. Today we are going up against the Falcons. And the Falcons actually have a really good team. Surprising um, that their uh, record is what it is. You know, started off the year 2-4. and four, So uh, we're definitely trying to go on ahead and put another loss. Go ahead and tack one more in that counter for your boy one time, please. So, uh, they have, you know, good quarterback. They got Nick Foles. Uh, you know, not, not doing too great. You know, four interceptions, four TDs, a little over 1,000 yards. Uh, they have A.J. Green, they have Arian Foster, they have Anquan Bolden. They have a very, very good offense, man. So definitely just a lot of weapons to worry about, especially trying to deal with A.J. Green and Arian Foster in the backfield. Uh, right here, we do catch a break, man. They um, Nick Foles sheds a sack in the backfield, tosses it up for a touchdown, but thankfully it gets called back due to holding so uh one of the few times where uh something actually goes my way like a huge break like that negating a touchdown uh due to a hold so that right there was big so you know same drive right there oh look at, look at pat willis bringing the lumber that right there was such a huge hit gotta love having pat willis just right up that middle man just just wishing somebody would cross that middle though as we get a sack right there on the left side with elam now we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, our defense, man, which I love. Love the defense, man. Good linebacking core, good front four, good young safeties, some good veterans at the quarterback position. Right here, uh, almost uh, kind of made something happen, you know, even though uh, it's kind of far away, but you never know. You never know what all matters, you know what I mean? Uh, they might get, like, 17 broken tackles. You never know. Just like how that punt just magically goes to the one-yard line, right? So now I'm thinking to myself, <sighs> All right, man. Now we got to try and get some breathing room here. Very tight situation, man. We need <laughs> some breathing room as we're going ahead and take a look at our offensive starters right here. So uh, I'm a little worried of running it because one, uh, you know, missed block or whatever. It's a safety. So try to uh, do a quick pass and we actually throw to the rookie Butler, which was huge, getting us a first down. Then we go to uh, DeMarco and, man, with whoop, whoop. <laughs> he's some dirt, son. Quick little double juke, man, with such blazing speed, man. He's definitely... A good weapon to have right here, man. We go to the screen with Gronk and try to run somebody open, but uh, over. But of course, the animation you really get them. The defense, man, they got D. Ware, as you saw, man, who's definitely a monster on the front end. And uh, they got Michael Huff, they got Chan Bailey, they got some ballers over there, man. Third and inches is a really quick play right here to uh, Austin, which allows us to pick up the first down. Uh, right, we back up and we look and it's a really quick dump off the Murray, not too much open. So uh, if we can go ahead and punch it in from here, that right there will be big. We go through the play action. We'll look at it. We go over the middle, and we end up finding the rookie Butler. And he's, like I said, I mean, he's been su doing such a huge part um, filling in for Amendola to the point where I actually think I'm going to keep Butler once Amendola comes back because he's he's just that useful. You know what I mean? He's He's got so many things to add to his arsenal. You know, besides his jumping ability, his pet catching ability, he's quick, he's fast. And he's just a big target. So, um, Des Bryant uh, does come back the week after this. Amendola is two weeks away. So, uh, after this game, man, um, we do get Des Bryant back. And then Amendola is one week away. So, we're starting to get a little bit healthy. So, if we can go on ahead and, uh, you know, hopefully continue the winning streak that we've been on. You know, adding Des Bryant back to the lineup. Man, Amendola is going to be big. So, uh, right here, you got to love when you get yourself a coverage sack right there. Everything was locked up. We called the cover through sink. And nothing was open for Nicholas to go on ahead and find. He finds Adrian Green right there. And he just gets the first down. And I'm thinking myself, man, you got to be kidding me. How did we give that up? That sucked. So, third and goal right here, man. Uh, as long as they don't get a touchdown, we'll force them to a field goal. That's exactly what happens, man. They end up tying the game up with the field goal on this kick right here. So, it's like, okay, okay. You know, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. Uh, we would definitely like to not have given up a score whatsoever. But, you know, we'll take holding them to a field goal over a touchdown any day of the week. So, here we go back on offense. A little less than a minute remaining. We have a couple of timeouts. Definitely enough time in Madden. Right? We just step up in the pocket to find Butler. And uh, I, you see me going his way a lot. He's definitely one of my favorite targets. So, definitely trying to get the ball to him a lot. Look at Gronkowski right here. I make a huge mistake. I put him on an out route. And then I motion him out to give myself a little bit more room. And, um, you know, if it's man-to-man, -man, he's going to be my read. If it's zone, I'm looking for Moss or Butler. And wide open is Gronkowski, and I just hit the wrong button. I, I just, it would have been wide open, out route, and I 
for whatever reason, I thought Gronkowski was X, and I just hit the wrong button, and that right there sucked. Thankfully, they were unable to take advantage of that turnover. So we go into halftime tie game. You know, we're both really struggling offensively. You know, a couple of turnovers, and uh, definitely got to go on ahead and hopefully uh, be able to score here. You know, get the lead and uh, try it because their their offense is definitely tough to deal with with all those weapons they really haven't ran the ball too much and uh you definitely don't want to get arian foster going so right here play action i try to just do a touch pass over the top to gronkowski thinking maybe kaepernick was going to put just a little bit more touch on that unfortunately no we throw an interception ah oh, man next play end up just throwing the night well second and three not next play but uh, a couple of plays after have you seen nick Foles? 149 yards kaepernick zero touchdowns two tight ends definitely not a good game for him so far so Hopefully, we can have the same effect that we did last time they were in this situation. Holding to a field goal uh, right here. I believe we stopped Foster for one yard and lost. So, third and six. If we can stop here, that would be big. And Nick Foles throws it out of bounds. He definitely had some pressures going his way by uh, Patrick Willis. So, now we're down, you know, six to three. Now, like, okay, man, let's focus. Let's get the ball in the end zone. And if not, worst case scenario, let's at least try to get this into field goal range to go on ahead and tie the game. Uh, right there is holding. Don't even. Don't even waste your legs, uh, Tavon. Uh, just dive down, get tackled. Holding puts us back at like the 7, I think, or something like that. The 8-yard line. Uh, right there, man. Inside positioning by Butler. And we throw it to him really quickly. Like I said, man, he, he's he's uh, becoming my new favorite target, man. That guy is just killing. Block shed sack right there. First and the second round. Can we get some blocks? Right here, we just try to make it a manager first down. Maybe get 5, 10 yards. There. Look at my boy, Murray. Coming through with the huge run. And then we go back to Murray on the other side. And we get, whoop! And we get really close to a first down. So we're at second and two, man. Let's see if we can pick up this first down. Through the air. Come back. Oh, and Butler's so strong, though. He is so strong. I'm telling you, that man brushes his teeth with bacon strips. So much protein in and out of this man's body. Just catches a quick comeback route. And he just absolutely forearms the hell out of the defender and takes it into the end zone. And that right there was such a huge change of momentum, man. Just being able to score off of one play like that definitely uh, just made me feel like uh, the game was going our way after you get something like that. Third and seven, we send uh, like a seven-man blitz. And thankfully, Elam comes through off of the edge for a sack, forcing a punt. So that right there was big. Now we have another opportunity to hopefully score. And scoring so will put us up two possessions if we're able to get ourselves into the end zone. So here Kaepernick looking. He's going just a really quick check down to Moss. Mo, uh, Momo's first reception of the game since the um, since Butler has been coming, even though he drops the pass. Since Butler has been... Look at this huge field goal. Yo. This is why you go ahead and get a Greg the leg. 62 yarders. And uh, if our power was anything but all the way, 100%, we would have missed that most likely. Thankfully, it was 100%. And he ends up draining that. So, like I said, man, with, with just the, the big uh, insurgence from Butler, you know, the way he came through. And right there, a rare interception. He was like, thank you. Come again. No, some of you. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> with the big uh, plays of Butler, the way he's been playing, Momo has definitely uh, been seeing less and less in this offense. And unfortunately, you know, he's definitely going to get seen even less since uh, Des Bryant is coming back after this game. But, you know, Momo is definitely still a, a good option. You know, somebody I uh, definitely like to have on the field. There's somebody I go to, you know, it, you, you break the Momo in. You break the Momo glass in case of emergency. You know what I'm saying? When I need Momo, Momo is there. You know what I'm saying? Third and one, man. Third and inch, excuse me. We don't take any chances. QB sneak. All we really need is a couple first downs, and this game is over. And, of course, we got Gronkowski just screaming wide open, cutting across the field. Right now, they're, wast they're wasting their timeout. So, um... We're already in field goal range, already guaranteeing ourselves a multiple possession lead. And then we just eat some dirt, son. Really quick off, quick dump off to Gronkowski. I'm not sure where he stands in uh, touchdowns for the year, but he's got to be like top 10. Like most of my touchdowns is going to Gronk. He's definitely had a, a tremendous year. Uh, he definitely leads my team in, I think, receptions, yards, and touchdowns. So uh, he's definitely been my go-to target. Um, lately, it's been Butler, but uh, Gronkowski throughout the year has just been dominant all year so uh they still have a chance you know it, it is gonna take a little bit of a miracle you know they only have one timeout so they're gonna need a touchdown in and onside i believe the computer has done five onsides against me and they've recovered four of them so getting an onside against this gds computer is not easy it's 20 percent for me <laughs> 
right there I went for the bat down we missed it but thankfully they don't get the reception and then we just dive um, with uh, Willis we end up getting the sack last play of the game we just chuck it up see if we get a, a game ending tee bag but unfortunately no but nonetheless we end up winning the game 20 to 6 unfortunately for them they didn't run the ball too much and like I say man stopping the run I know Madden is extremely difficult if they would have ran the ball a lot more they would have been a force to be reckoned with because Aaron Foster is a monster when you deal with the run I know Madden is pancake city but you know I understand why they didn't run the ball that much even though they got Aaron Foster you got AJ Green you got Nick Foles you also have um, Anquan Bolden kind of makes you want to pass the ball so we actually get a bye week so our next game we actually get back Des Bryant and Amendola on top of Butler who was killing Momo and Austin so it should be an interesting game here we're going up against the 1-7 Titans Texans excuse me that game is out tomorrow hopefully you guys enjoyed the content I'm out peace give it to me baby